Hi guys. So today we're gonna to be learning how to make a waterfall of seed bead earring. All right. Stay tuned. Excited? Yeah. Hi guys, how you doing? Today we're going to be making a waterfall necklace. A seed bead waterfall necklace. And what you're going to need today, you're going to need your seed beads. You're going to need your scissors. You're going to need some weaving thread. You're going to need a really, really thin needle. And you're going to need your beads. All of your beads. Okay? And these beads I bought, they were bought at... Michael's okay and some were bought at Marshall's so I have a whole variety um, of seed beads to be used okay so let's get down to it right now also these were bought at Walmart so these are some DIY glass seed beads okay so we have silver we have some brownish pink we have some gold we got some good stuff going on here. So what I did was I um string this up already, my beads and my um my seed beads onto my weaving thread. Um I had a needle and I run my beads through the thread. And what I did at the end of it, I used a split ring and I tied the um the loose ends onto the split ring multiple times, um, knotted and then I applied some glue. So when I finish stringing on the beads, I put my split ring onto the both ends. All right. So what I'm going to do now is try to um, get some beads on this thread here, on this weaving thread, and try to make like a waterfall effect with the seed beads. Okay. Okay. So I got my potpourri of um, seed beads. And what I'm going to do now is just shred it. Um, to keep all the beads in, what you could do is use the smallest bead. Use a small, a really small bead as your first bead. A really small bead as your first bead. So that the other beads would not fall off the, um, the weaving thread. Okay? So I have a really, really small bead here. As my starter bead okay so what you could do also is apply some glue onto the end of the thread and when you apply some glue onto the end of the thread you could um thread a bead um, the glue will make like a hard effect at the end of the thread so you can get the thread a bead faster also that's some of the tricks I use to um, do my bead so what I'm gonna do is use the smallest bead first Thread my smallest bead first. Yeah. So bead number one is on there. And it's smaller than the rest of the beads. So that will keep the um the rest of the beads from falling out. Alright. Also what I do too, I tie a nut at the end of the small bead, so even if the nut gets loose, we know that the bead is really, really secure onto the um, weaving thread. We have to just cut off the excess. So I'm going to attempt to do the other beads, to thread the other beads, so that I can make like a waterfall um, effect on the chain. So I'm stringing my beads. I got four beads strung there already. So, so I'm here I'm going. I'm just stringing them on. And I'm going to be using multiple colored beads, you know, to give it a, a really, really nice look and really, really nice design. All right. Okay. 
So here I have um, 25 beads. I strung 25 beads onto this um, the yarn. And what I'm going to do now is attempt to put it onto the middle of the necklace to give it a waterfall effect. What I do is I'm going to attempt to just tie it, bring it through, and tie it. Let's give it a little loop. Trying to get this over here because I need to like. Tie a knot and pull it more up because we don't want a really, really big gap in the middle of this. So we got to try to get all the string in. And keep on pulling, pulling again. So you see after I string my bead, I'm going to cut off the excess and just dab a little glue on the nut there so it will be nice and secure. Okay, and as you know this glue dries really really clear so we are good. Okay, so I'm going to do the rest and I will show you how it is going to look. Okay, so I just string 20 beads onto here. So the second one is going to have 20 beads. All right. So the pattern is going to be 26, 20, 26, 20. Okay. That's the pattern. And what I'm doing is I'm counting like one bead space between the two beads. So if you look at this bead here, I have like a bead in between the two of them so I am using that as my um, my my go to 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 beat it up okay that's the pattern there's gonna be one bead in between these two beads so there's gonna be one bead in between one bead in between and on and on and on that's how it's gonna be like okay so that's the pattern one bead space in between the two beads when you finish nutting it you just cut off the excess and what you're going to do is you just apply a little bit of glue onto where you cut to make it secure so this was 26 beads here i'm going to do 20 now on this on the next link so I'm finished um, putting on the, um, the seed beads I did um, four strands of it four strands of it and what I'm gonna do now I'm gonna add the straps to the end okay add the straps onto the end of it and then I'm going to put some extra beads along the top where the um, strands are. Alright. And what I'm going to do is just use this material I have here. So I'm going to use this material I have here. And I'm going to run it through this circle here. This is your first strap. Make sure it's even. This is your first strap. Just put a little nut there so um i have my first strap and i'm going to do my second one second necklace strap you you measure it up and there you go you just put a little knot and there you have it these are your two straps so what i'm going to do now what i'm going to do 
I am going to put some beads around the top part of where these um these um stuff fall. I'm going to put it to the top part of these um these strands of seed beads. Okay? So here I go, I'm applying the glue and I'm putting the seed beads on the top part. It's a little smooth, a little smooth here. But we gotta try to make it work. So here I'm putting some beads on the top. Beads on the top of it, of the of the strand of the strands okay so this is the final look of this um, waterfall seed bead necklace as you can see it's still drying it's still drying a bit because it's just fresh, freshly done. This is your finished outcome. All right. Thank you guys for tuning in. Try it and remember all of these things I made. Um, you could you could get it at a n n j e l l r at gmail dot com. Okay. And I want you to try these things out. Let me know um, how. It was done, how you felt about it, would you try it in the comments, okay? Thank you, like, comment, subscribe, okay? And you'll see me again, alright? So here you go. This is your waterfall necklace. Seed bead waterfall necklace. Okay? Thank you. Bye!